All right, friends, here we go. Today, we're gonna talk about railings, all right? We'll get into stairs soon, but let's talk about railings. Railings are a little bit scary sometimes for people, but I'm going to take that, that scariness away today by explaining the different parts and how they work, okay? So without any further ado, we are going to go look at some railings. All right, let me just put my face over here and let me open up my building 3D. What we want to do is go to our top view here, mm -hmm. okay? And let's put in some railings over here. I'm just going to go to architecture, rail, there it is, railing. And the first one I'm going to put in is a fence, okay? Let me just put in about a 10 foot piece of fence, okay? Done. Now, don't get too excited, even though that's it. Is that looking sweet or what? It's like, oh my gosh, how did he do that? How did he make a fence? It's so amazing. Well, let me show you some more types before we get too amazed, okay? So we're gonna go back to the top view, okay? And then we're going to, let me show you what else we've got. Okay, I'm going to array this guy. Um, let's say, how about 15 of them? Mm -hmm. And down here, I don't know, four feet apart. Let's go. Boop. Okay, there we got our railings. <laughs> oh my goodness. We got a bunch of railings. Okay, this first one's the fence. So I'm gonna make the second one into dun, 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 glass panel. Okay, guardrail glass panel. This next one is going to be a pipe. This next one is going to be a uh, pipe with extensions. This next one is rectangular. Try to keep me organized. Pipe with extensions, rect Wait, which one was that? Doggone it. Pipe with rectangular. And now the next one after rectangular is glass panel. This one is gonna be a glass panel with brackets. This next one is gonna be pipe. And I can't talk to you guys while I'm doing this or I will lose my, con you're gonna make me lose my concentration. Pipe on a wall. This one is pipe with extensions. And after extensions, rectangular handrail. We're getting to the end here, hang in there. I know this is boring. Re residential. This one after residential is railing with panels. And this one is another residential. But it looks like, hey, I'm missing one, okay. I'm going to, let me go back up to uh, la 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 railing. And I'm going to drop one in right over here. A fancy dancy one that is called a guard, a tree guard. Yay! Okay. So here we go. Let's go and take a look at these just for a second. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're going to want to see this. Now you've seen. Okay. So here we go. These are the different types of railings, guys. And this is just a small spattering of what you guys can already do. But this is a fence, okay? This guy is a glass panel guardrail, and this is a guardrail with pipes. You can see it. This one has extensions on it. See how those curved extensions are at the end? This one is just a guardrail rectangular with the vertical posts, pickets. And this one is a glass panel. And look at this one, glass panel with brackets. See the little brackets holding it? This one is just a pipe rail. This one is just a handrail pipe that goes on a wall. Look at the little tiny brackets, ding, ding, ding. This one's got extensions on it, pipe with extensions. This is a normal guard rail or a handrail. We get into the um, a residential rail here. And this one is, has panels in it, solid panels instead of glass. And this is just another residential hard, uh, rail. In fact, I can't figure out why I have two of those. Anyway, and this last one is a tree guard, okay? I'm telling you, if you've got a tree, hey, watch this, edit the path. Instead of just being a straight line, what if this was like a circle around a tree, okay? Let's just suppose that that's what I've got. I'm gonna delete that. And ready? Boink. Look at that, are you kidding me? That is a tree guard, and we've got little S-shaped um, pickets going around. So anyway, I just want to show you guys how these work. 
So let's get into it. The <clears throat> most common thing that you guys need to understand, I'll just go up here to this regular rail. The horizontals are called rails. So this one is going to have one, two, three, four, five, six rails. So watch, I'm going to go edit type, and then I'm going to get my face out of the way. Hush. Okay. And so the rails are listed on this button and the balusters, those are the verticals. Those are listed on this button. So work with me here. The rails, remember I said this was gonna have six. So when I open it, bam, there they are, look. One through six. The, they're in order right here of their height. So the top one is at three feet. The next one, and so they're every six inches all the way down on this one. You can see it right there, ding, 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 ding. This is the offset left or right, like a, a w perpendicular to the railing itself. If you need to shift it for any reason, we'll get into that. And this is the profile, okay? So <clears throat> work with me here. I'm gonna close this one, and then we're gonna go look at another one. So let's cancel and get back out. Let's go look at this one. This one has only one horizontal, so you guessed it. When we go click on this button, bam, you're going, only going to see one. See that? It's a three foot, it three foot off the ground, and it's a circular one and a half. And we'll deal with offset. Every one of them's got a little bit of an offset. And that, friends, that depends on the center line of the railing or the the, the railing. What it does is it 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 uses the one side. Okay, you can you can set your railing centered or left or right. You can actually move it around on there, on the um, off of center. So that one had to be shifted for a, a good reason because it needed to be off of the wall. So let me just move over here for a second, and let's talk about this guy for a sec here. What we've got is a guard rail. So, and the guard rail is a it goes up like three foot six but at three foot there's a handrail down lower offset to the side so i'm going to click on that i'm going to show you edit type so we should have two horizontals in this edit rail yes look two there's the th one at three foot six and it's offset one um minus one half inch we'll get into that the hand the guard uh, it's a rectangular rail up at the top two inch by two inch so that's the profile but then offset two inches at three feet above the ground is this a circular one and a half. And that's the one you see right there. So when you go to build rails, the horror what I need to get across to you right now is the horizontals are the railings, even though the whole thing's called a rail. Okay, rail. Okay. So let's talk verticals now. Okay. The balusters are the verticals. And this one that we're looking at has a bunch of them. Let's see what's going on. When I hit edit, this is what scares people a lot. This view is like, are you kidding me? But let me try to simplify it for you, okay? The pattern starts and the pattern ends. You can ignore those two lines. So we've only got one main pattern. See what I'm circling right there with my cursor? Main pattern, and that is this main pattern, okay? It is, they've got the family, is a baluster that is square three quarter inch square that's those right there and if you the base of it is attached to the host which would be the stair or the floor you know the level or whatever you attach it to it doesn't have an offset up higher or lower than that base it's set at zero the top of these balusters hits rail number one and if we go in back to rail number one you'll remember that it was this two by two at the top so it hits the top and it's not going higher or lower than the rail but look all of these main patterns these three quarter inch balusters are every four inches ding 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 from the previous one so it calculates four inches four inches four inches four inches from the last one okay you with me that was pretty simple. Okay. And if we had a, um, a post at the beginning and end, that comes in down here on this other chart. 
down a little bit lower. So we'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to hit cancel so that we can go back and look at a new rail. Okay, let's look at one that has a different beginning and end. All right, there we go. Look at this. See this residential rail? I'm going to highlight it. It has a top rail, it has verticals, and it has a beginning and an end. Okay, so I am going to highlight it and go to edit type. So here we go. The rail is going to have one. There it is. It is a special handrail that was drawn that special shape. And you can build a profile, load it into Revit, and use it right here. You would click here and, and go to your profile that you draw. Okay. You can tell it what material it is, but it's at three feet. So I'm going to go back and now look at the balusters. Let's look at the verticals. This next button, the verticals. Okay, look here. The, there's a typical, typical bing, bing, bing. The main pattern is a colonial baluster that was created as a family. Okay. And it was brought in here. The base of it is down at the ground or the host or the stair. Okay. And it's not going lower or higher. It, the top is hitting and attached to rail number one. And we only had one rail. And it's not going higher or lower. And, but look at this. It's every two inches. Ding, ding, ding. From the last one to the next one. And they measure from center to center. Okay. So here we go. And that there's a two right here that starts the first one two inches from the end. Okay, I'm just saying. So look at this. I can start, I can make these six inches apart. See that? And if I say apply, look over here to the left. We'll see that. I'm going to hit apply. There, every six inches. See that? That's the main pattern. And so now what I want to talk to you about is the verticals at the beginning and end. Remember how I said they're down here. The start post is going to be a newel post. Someone designed this newel post here, and it goes from the host, offset zero, up to the rail, offset zero. So this is what happens at the beginning of every time you draw. And this one down here is at the end every time you draw a railing. And then a corner post, another one will pop in every time there's a break in the line. And I'm going to show you that. And then we'll move on. That'll be your lesson for today. Let me just show you. I'm going to say, okay. So I'm going to take this rail. I'm going to edit the path. And if this path were not just straight, if it had a break in it, going on a different angle or even straight, because there's a break right there, that it throws in another newel post at that location. Okay? So... That's the basics. We're going to get deeper into railings and how they, and take it one step further on another video on how to deal with the glass panels and how you can get a, um, a bracket in between glass panels to make that all work. But for right now, I want you to understand that the horizontals are the rails and the verticals are the balusters. You have a main pattern and you've got corner, they, this is a corner post and you've got start and end posts. All right, guys, that's, that's the absolute basics of railings. We will get into some of the other steps about railings and how to deal with them as we go, some of the other settings, but I just wanted to hit on those so that you guys could start understanding rails and start building your own. Make your own profiles, load them in, try them. Try building a baluster and try building a some of those little pickets. You can build those as separate little railing families and load them in and then use them in your, um, in your family. So on the next video, I'm going to take it a little bit further. But for now, go enjoy rails and uh, I hope you guys have a very blessed day. And uh, get out there and do some reveting. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.